But let's talk about the um, the M1 Pro versus the M1X, John, because it, there's not as much difference as I uh, as I would have initially thought. Right. The sorry, I'm saying the M1X because I have it written that way in my notes. There is no M1X. It's the M1 Max. So there's the M1 Pro versus the M1 Max. And the um, near as I can tell, John, and help me with this if you if you have more details, but the the M1 Pro and M1 Max both sort of max out at that 10 core CPU, mm-hmm. but where the M1 Max goes and goes beyond, goes above and beyond, is the uh, the GPU. Right. Where Mm. you get the 16 core neural engine in all of them. And then the 24, the M1 Max can go to either a 24 core GPU or a 32 core GPU. And uh, and 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 the M1 Max also lifts the ceiling from 32 gigs of RAM to 64 gigs of RAM as a max. Right. Okay, Mm -hmm. And. What else is there between the two CPUs? I know Apple was saying that memory bandwidth on the Max is 400 gigabits per second, whereas Mm -hmm. on the Pro, it's 200. Right. Okay. So CPU-wise, it's no faster. And their charts showed that, too. Those charts were interesting that they were showing. It was, you know, the CPU performance really didn't change because it's the same CPU between uh, the, you know, between the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. But it's the it was the GPU performance where things really kind of um, kicked up a notch, if you will. Mm-hmm. And these seem to be about 50 percent faster on the CPU than the M1 chip. Right, because I'm I'm looking at the chart that they showed in in their uh, in their uh, you know in the presentation, and they they called the M1 they listed that at 100 on their relative performance chart, and uh, and the M1 Pro and the M1 Max clock in at 150 on the relative performance chart. So to me, that's 50 percent faster. So it was nice to see them saying that it was faster than the old one, which is you know old being a year old. So. Any more on the M1 Pro versus the M1 Max? Um, I don't see a whole, so. Yeah, I haven't seen a whole lot published about it uh, yet, but I'm sure we'll get more, of course. So, yeah, it's um, I'm I, you know I'm I'm stoked to see it. You know, even the the M1. Let let us not forget that the M1 chip is super fast. And I, I have yet to hit a performance ceiling on it. You know, I mean, I, Mm -hmm. there are, there are some things that I do routinely that I see it max out all my, you know, cores. Um, Strangely launching Pixelmator Pro maxes out my cores. Now it only happens for, you know, a second or a second and a half or something, but I happen to notice while I'm waiting for Pixelmator Pro to, to, you know, fully launch that my cores are just maxed out, which is a good thing to me. It's like, okay, yeah, let's, you know, let's use them. So, but yeah. Yeah. Anything? What else? Uh, external display support. So the M1 oh. Max supports four external displays. Right. Yeah. 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 Supports two. I'm just looking at their comparison chart here. Is that, you want to bring up that comparison chart for us, John? You have it on the <laughs> thing. Excuse me. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I I had caught that the the M1 Max supported four. I did. I I missed that the. So you said the M1 Pro supports two external displays. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's great. So that's one more than the M1 supports, right? Because the M mm-hmm. the M1 when we say external displays, we're talking about it from a laptop standpoint. On the on the Mac Mini, of course it supports two external displays because th- that there is no internal display. Uh, but uh, it, you know, that the M one chip itself supports a maximum of two displays. It sounds like the M one pro supports a maximum of three and the M one max supports a maximum of five. And mm-hmm. so that that's huge. I, that I think is that that was a limiting factor. That was the reason I got my M one mini. The guy wanted to trade it for me because he had, 
three external displays that he wanted to use and he didn't like having to do it with display link. So he was like, ah, I don't want to keep it. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I'm good. I only use two displays. So only yep. use two displays. So, yeah. And the battery life is better. And, uh, I guess this MagSafe three will do what they call faster charging. Right? Yeah. Right. 30 minutes up to 50%. Mm-hmm. That's really yeah. good. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if we get any of that. Do we get any of that fast charge on USB-C? That would be, Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. 